Wow, thank you, cell phone. That was really nice of you. Anyways, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite some time since I submitted a video, but I've had a very busy May. <laughs> I had a very busy May and uh, I don't know, I just, I've been thinking a lot of things and um, this is why I decided to do another episode of Draw and Chill. I know it's been quite some time as well since I've done an episode of Draw and Chill, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I have quite a few things to talk to you guys about and I don't think that an edited video um, will make up for everything that I need to say. So this is why this is going to be a very raw and unedited version of a draw and chill. And I suggest you go and pick up a snack or something to drink because it's going to be kind of long. <laughs> so yeah. Also, I'm very sorry if you're here. So really loud screaming, those are my neighbors. Um, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's start. I have a few sketches that I did this morning and um, I decided to just leave them as if so I could continue them um, while I was filming uh, this video. Now, one of the things that I that's kind of been bothering me a little bit it's my last submission which is with which if you guys haven't seen it's my Chun Li video and let me um, zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see what I'm doing it's my Chun Li um, video and it's not been bothering me because of how I drew it because I am actually very proud of the outcome. I believe it is one of the best pieces I've done so far. But one of the things that just really irks me is how aesthetically it doesn't match with the rest of my, like the thumbnails of my videos. And I know that it's kind of stupid because, you know, really who gives who cares but it is something that bothers me personally and I'm not sure if I've ever told you guys um, the purpose of this channel I'm gonna go a little back with a little backstory here um, when I finished uh, high school uh, almost two years ago I Basically, I just, I took a break from traditional art because, I'm sorry, drawing and, and, <laughs> and talking at the same time is very hard, I, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but um, like I was saying, I took a break from traditional art because I studied, studied in a fine arts school and that's basically all I took for six years. I somehow and I quote majored in visual arts and I took everything um, that um, that involved traditional art painting oils acrylics watercolor sculpting everything I took everything and when my graduation time came I was so tired of every single traditional art thing that I was just like, you know, I need to take a break because I hate this so much. I was so into digital art by then that I was just like, this has got to stop. So when I started university, I am major. I'm currently majoring in video game design and development. I took a break from traditional everything, um, aside from sketching, from, I took a break from painting and oils and all that stuff and a year passed and I think I was slightly content with um, the break that I had taken and I decided that it was time to just reunite with my traditional mediums and just um, reunite with them and try to work with them again and lim my, limit myself in the way that traditional mediums 
really know how to limit you because I mean if you guys work or have worked with um, traditional art you guys know that um, I mean with digital art sorry you guys know that digital art you can do just about anything that your heart desires if you want to do a landscape you can do a landscape and you can add millions of colors because you know the color wheel digitally allows you meanwhile if you want to do a landscape um, traditionally you can't do it with just yellow green yellow blue and red but you know it's kind of hard to just do a million colors with those three <laughs> and uh, yeah so that's how this channel grew to be and uh, basically the whole purpose of this channel was to reunite with my traditional mediums and uh, get better at them since I took a long ass break uh, from them and going back into like real time right now um, uploading that Chun-Li video for me personally I feel that it just just brought the whole purpose of this channel because I want this channel to be very organic as in I want to keep everything super traditional and um, upon submitting that video I felt that I betrayed I betrayed my channel because I was I was using um, digital art to create a piece and honestly for me it just felt really really wrong and I even thought about deleting the whole like the video per se because of how disturbing <laughs> it was to me but I didn't because I saw that you guys actually really really liked um, really liked uh, my digital art and stuff so I decided to leave it but um, I also decided that I was not going to submit any more digital painting videos because like I said I wanted to keep the organicness of this channel and uh, for me it just feels wrong to submit um, digital videos so because of this i decided let me zoom out because oops let me in uh, okay let me gotta go into this one right now uh, there we go so as i was saying um because um i decided decided not to submit any more digital videos to this channel i decided to make a new channel and I will probably link that somewhere on the screen. Um, so yeah, I decided to make a new channel that it's basically going to have every single thing about my digital art. Sorry, I had to take a sip, sippy. Um, and uh, yeah, I also <laughs> decided to make this new channel because I am starting to make a brand out of my name and I have a few projects with a few friends and we want to start going to conventions and we just want to do a lot of stuff locally and all of that stuff I'm probably going to be doing with my digital art so since I am mostly very very familiar with my digital art I decided to keep all that knowledge separate from this channel in particular and don't get me wrong Hime Buns is I'm not going to be closing down this channel because no I mean so far I've learned so many things with um, the little time that I have here and I feel like I have a lot more things to learn so I'm not going to be closing down this channel I to put it in a more simpler way um, 
take taken like how do I explain explain this um this channel Hime Buns is going to be more like an experimental traditional channel meanwhile um Hime Buns Studios which is the channel that I'm going to be linking in the screen is going to be my professional channel in which I will be working with traditional stuff and making the name of my brand and just doing a lot of goodies that I'm pretty sure you guys will also be interested so I highly suggest that you go and um, subscribe to that channel as well I already have a video up and it is a speak paint of um, one of my favorite characters from Overwatch which is um, May and uh, yeah I'm pretty sure you guys are going to like um, this new channel as well so go ahead and subscribe to it so yeah I guess that's basically the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about it was really bothering me and uh, I don't know for me it felt really wrong to kind of not necessarily keep it a secret because I was going to talk to you guys about it but it was really bugging me that I kind of disappeared for a little while and you guys were probably already asking hey where is Hime? where did she go? how is she doing? is she alive? and yeah I am alive I was just trying to deal with stuff <laughs> trying to deal with stuff in a manner that wasn't going to I don't know disturb me or disturb you guys so yeah that's that's what I've been up to lately um as I said I'm gonna take this time to just talk to you guys about what I've been doing cuz why not um, <laughs> like I said May surprisingly was a very um, was a very busy or not necessarily busy because um, I was already done with university mid-May but it was very eventful usually Mays for me are not super eventful because you know school university whatever whatever etc but this year it changed a little bit and let me see where do I start oh so I attended Puerto Rico Comic Con and I was going to film I was going to film everything for you guys but when I arrived at a parking lot to buy some coffee and to wait for a few friends because we were going together I turned on my camera because I was going to start filming at that precise moment and I noticed that my camera was dead <laughs> and um, I got so mad because I literally charged that camera overnight and it didn't came through my mind to check it during the morning to see if it charged I just really deposited my whole faith in the camera and I seriously don't know what the hell happened so I couldn't film absolutely anything for you guys and that really made me mad but I had so much fun to be honest it was basically one of the, ve the best comic cons that I've ever gone to I've Assist, assisted Puerto Rico Comic Con for almost three years now. I'm not sure if this is my third year or my fourth year, but I have been going to Puerto Rico Comic Con for quite some time now, and this year was the best. I went with my high school friends, then over there I met up with my university friends, and I met with two other friends, and it was so much fun. It was so great. I bought a lot of merch like wow I literally blew my whole paycheck on <laughs> that comic con which is crazy 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 um, I'm going to I'm not gonna work on this anymore because I absolutely hate it so yeah I'm gonna work on another on another thing give me a second okay here new page so as I was saying I blew my whole paycheck 
on that Comic Con and I have absolutely no regrets. <laughs> so yeah, that's one thing that happened in May. Let me see what other thing happened. Oh, um, my birthday was really nice too. I usually never do anything for my birthday, but I actually did a thing this year. I My birthday was on the 25th of May and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't know <laughs> but that was my birthday or and uh, I'm currently 19 years old so yeah hooray for me um, so like I was saying I did a thing that day I went with two of my friends to the movies and we watched what did we watch I do not remember what we watched. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> now I remember. We watched um, X-Men and uh, <laughs> it was so great. It was so fun. I mean, the movie per se wasn't funny. It was us who made it funny because um, the movie had some really really extreme close-ups of the villain and it was just hilarious for us because you could literally see <laughs> his freaking pores on the screen and uh, god damn it it was so fun that day was really good too um and yeah after we watched the movie we then uh went to eat ice cream and then later we sat down and just um we just talked shit like we literally talked shit we talked about everything about the stuff we did at comic con we talked about the movie we talked about so much stuff you know usual really dumb teenager stuff but whatever it was really nice uh let me see i'm running out of things to say oh my god i thought that was, this video was going to be longer and hell yeah it is super long it is almost 16 minutes now but uh yeah i don't think i have anything else to say to you guys um i don't know let me know what you've been doing this past may because i re would really like to know what you guys have been up to um i know some of you have told me that you guys really hesitate in like in commenting my my videos my videos sorry but literally don't hesitate in commenting my videos i literally i can't speak wow <laughs> I love to read what you guys have to say and I really love chit-chatting with you guys so let me know what you guys have been doing this upcoming May or what you guys have planned for summer because that sounds really fun I don't have anything planned for summer yet but I would really like to know what you guys have been up to so yeah i guess that's all i have to say i'm going to be speeding up this video a little bit so you guys can see how i finished the sketch so yeah see you in a bit <laughs>